and knack about today. It's a very, very hot day, probably 40 degrees. There's a 30 knot wind following the sea. I mean, you couldn't be better conditions, really. The water is incredibly salty. Compared to the Black Sea, this is a, a different kettle of fish. So you, you get very dried out very quickly. But the sea is pretty clear. We're passing the ships and we're about to turn a corner and we'll land on a beach after 10 kilometers. So it's lovely. So it's good to see so many uh, Jordanians swimming with us. I'm really looking forward to this swim because the wind is beginning to really pump and so I think we're going to get a strong push down the coast. I just asked the, the pilots whether I should be worried about sharks because you know training off South Africa it's one of your big concerns. He said to me oh don't worry about sharks they've all been fished out of this water. And that's precisely the reason why I am worried about it because an ocean without sharks is a dead ocean. Over a hundred million sharks are killed every single year. And when you take out the top predator, it causes chaos down the food chain. Our dream is that we can really protect these seven seas. And the world is divided between dreamers and realists. And I think you need both. And so the general is a realist. He you know, comes to these expeditions and, Lewis, get in the water, do this, do that. Uh, this is what's got to happen. But behind it, there has to be the dream. Behind it, there has to be that thing which everybody can get behind and say, this is what we want for future generations. This is what we want for our current generations. We don't want overfishing. We don't want pollution. We don't want climate change. You know, humans should not be changing the climate. And uh, yeah, that's our message. This was the best swim by far and the reason was because I had all these Jordanian kids swimming with me and we were swimming over some of the most beautiful coral I've ever seen, yellow coral and red coral and so it was just wonderful to take these kids you know along this reef and show them the beauty underneath. What was interesting during the swim was in the national park it was absolutely beautiful. I didn't see any litter, I didn't see any pollution, I saw nothing, I just saw beautiful, beautiful coral. As soon as I got out of the National Park, it was cans, it was tires, it was pieces of crockery, and it was literally littering the ground. And we've somehow, in a very short period of time, got to get into our minds that we need to treat the whole world as a national park. So we've now done the fifth swim in the Red Sea. We're now going off to the Arabian Sea to do the sixth swim. It's a penultimate one, and I'm really, really looking forward to this one. But a little bit nervous, because I've heard it's monsoon season out there, and the seas are going to be very, very rough. <laughs> 